Welcome back, everybody. This is Mr. Paredes, and today we are going over Module 2, Lesson 1, which is Percent Change. All right, this is pages 55 through 62. What I'll be covering in the video are tasks 1 through 4 in the Step It Out section from pages 55 through 57. But these four tasks that I um, complete on the video here will help you with the work on pages 57 through 62. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's look at some key terms we have in this lesson. The first one, percent change, is an amount of change expressed as a percent of the original amount. Percent increase is an amount of increase expressed as a percent of the original amount. Percent decrease is an amount of decrease expressed as a percent of the original amount. All right, so let's look at task one on page 55. When a quantity increases or decreases, you can use number sense and proportional reasoning to compare the amount of change to the original amount. So let's look at part A. Janice earns $7 per hour at Pizza King. After six months, her hourly rate of pay increased to $7.70 per hour. What is the percent increase in her hourly rate of pay? All right, so let's look at the original amount. What was the original amount? It was $7, right? So I want to write that down. That's our original amount. The new amount was $7.70. So if we want to get the amount of change, I would need to subtract them. Right? Pretty simple. We get 0 0.70, which is 70 cents. All right? So that's the amount of change. Now, it says, write the ratio as a percent. Note that the original amount is 10 times the amount of change. So this means this original amount up here is 10 times as big as the amount of change, right? So having knowing that, or knowing that, down here on the bottom, it says amount of change over the original amount. So the amount of change was 70 cents or 0 0.7, and it's over seven, which was the original amount. If we uh, simplified this, because it's 10 times as big, this would be, that means 0 0.7 is one tenth of seven. So I know this is equal to one tenth. Now, in order to, to make 10 100 right for 100 percent i would multiply by 10. so that means that's what i got to do to the top right to keep it equal so 1 times 10 is just 10. so that means that her rate of pay increased by 10 percent all right so let's look at part b Pizza King decided to decrease the price of a large pizza as shown on their sign. What is the percent decrease in the cost of a large pizza? All right. So looking at the sign, the X out amount is our original amount, which was $16. The new amount is $12. And I know the amount of change is going to be four dollars because when i subtract them i'm going to get four now i'm going to take the amount of change over the original amount so that's four over 16. this would simplify to one over four because four goes into four one time and four goes into 16 four times now to get from one fourth to some number over a hundred i want to see what's the rate this one changed at, right? 
So four goes into a hundred 25 times, right? Because four quarters in a dollar or four quarters make a hundred cents. So that means I need to multiply the top by 25, which would obviously give us 25. Now I have 25 over 100. Remember when you're using percentages, everything in percentages is out of 100%, right? If you took a test, it's always out of 100 on percentages. So 25 over 100 is the same as saying 25%. So the cost decreased by 25%. Now, if you struggle with this spot right here, just remember, you can always divide it. One divided by four equals 0 0.25, right? Which is 25 hundredths. Right, so this is the same as 25 over 100. All right, so let's look at task two on page 56. A population of cheetahs has decreased 30% over the last 18 years. If there are, were originally about 12,000 cheetahs, how many cheetahs are there now? All right, so part A, what is the percent decrease in the cheetah population and what was the original population? Well, that's easy. We know the decrease was 30%. And the original population was 12,000 cheetahs, right? For part B, it says, find the change in the number of cheetahs. Write the percent as a decimal. Well, I know it's 30%. Right, and I want to get this to a decimal. Well, 30% is the same as 30 over 100, right? Because it's 30 out of 100. If I divide that 30 divided by 100, I will get 0 0.30. So that's how we get from a percent to a decimal, right? And you can go back the opposite way too. So I want the percent decrease times the original amount and it's going to equal the decrease amount. So my percent decrease was 0 0.30 and you can write it as 0 0.3. That's perfectly fine as well. And we're going to multiply that to the original amount, which was 12,000, right? When we multiply this out, we're basically finding 30% of 12,000 which is 3,600 cheetahs, okay? Now for part C, it says, how many cheetahs are there now? Well, I know the original amount was 12,000 and we wanna subtract the decreased amount, which was 3,600, which gives us 8,400. So there are about 8,000 400 cheetahs now. All right, so let's look at task number three on page 56. Chastity is changing the size of the garden shown to fit more vegetables. She plans to increase the width by 25%. So part A, what will the new width be? Well, the width is eight feet, right? So we know the increase in width will be eight times and it's 25%. So in order to make it 25%, I need to turn this into a decimal, which would be 25 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.25. So when I multiply eight times 0 0.25, I will get two for two feet. So that means the new width is eight plus two. So that's gonna be 10 feet, right? So now we have a new width of 10 feet with the what she's planning to do. Now for part B, it says, how much greater is the new area? 
Well, remember, area is length times width or base times height, right? So in this case, it's going to be 8 times 12, right? That's the original area. And 8 times 12 is 96. So the original area is 96 feet squared. Now, the new area would be 10 times 12 which would give us 120 feet squared. So when I subtract them, 120 minus 96, that means the new area is 24 square feet greater or bigger, right? Now for part C, it says Chastity plans to add five more plants. If each vegetable plant requires a minimum of 1.25 square feet, Will Chastity's plan work for the new dimensions of her garden? So the area needed for the new plants, we know we got to go 1.25 times 5, right? Because she needs 1.25 square feet for each vegetable plant. And she's going to do five of them. So if I multiply this out, I will get... 6.25 feet squared. Now, the final part asks, will Chastity's plan work? Why or why not? So, if her new plans made it 24 square feet greater, would she be able to fit 6.25 square feet of pl new plants? Yes, of course she would, right? because the area increased by 24 feet squared and Chastity only needs 6.25 feet squared. All right, so let's look at the last task here, task four on page 57. A machine cuts lumber into eight foot planks. Company regulations allow the lengths to vary by one half percent which can be either an increase or decrease of one half percent of the intended length. Find the range of values allowed by the company's regulations. All right. So this means the, the eight foot planks can be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller than eight feet. Right. So let's look at part A. How do you express one half percent as a decimal? Well, we would divide it by 100, right? We would take one half, divide it by 100. When I divide that, that's going to give me a decimal of 0 0.005, okay? Now, for part B, what is the length in feet that the planks are allowed to vary? Remember the dot indicates multiplication, right? And they're talking about this one right here. So I know I have eight because that's how long the, the plank is. And we're going to multiply it by 0 0.005 because we want to find the percentage, right? What is one half of a percent of an eight foot plank. So when we multiply this out, we would get 0.04 of a foot. Okay. So four hundredths of a foot for part C it's saying, what is the length of the shortest allowable plank and the longest allowable plank cut by the machine, right? So remember, this is basically saying it could be 0 0.04 um, bigger or smaller than eight feet, right? So four hundredths of a foot bigger or smaller. So we subtract it for the shortest one. 0 0.04. We're going to add that in there or I'm sorry, plug that in there to subtract. So eight minus 0 0.04 would give me 7.96 feet. Right. And to figure out the longest plank that they allow, we would just add it to it, add it to eight. 
which would give us 8.04 feet. Okay, so that's what you're doing when you're trying to find out, you know, where, where, where how much it varies. Okay, and these will help you towards the end of our lesson. All right, we'll have a few problems that talk about this and use this example to work those problems out. All right, everybody, so that's it for module two, lesson one, percent change. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, all right, so you can stay up to date with everything that I'm posting. Also, very important, don't forget to complete and submit your work, always, all right? If you want credit for it, you need to turn it in, and it needs to be done, all right? You need to do some work on there. Other than that, you guys, as always, take care, and I'll see you next time.